Deleting 10 lines may be required, for example, if the surface has 10 triangles on the perimeter that are long and narrow. In this case, the triangles might not be accurate for the surface and should be deleted. Surface 10 or grid lines can also be deleted within a pond, for example, to create a void area. By removing these lines, you can prevent contours from being drawn through these void areas. When an edge is removed, either an interior border that follows the adjacent lines is created, or an exterior border is modified to follow the new lines. In this exercise, you'll delete 10 lines from a surface. The 10 lines that fall within a pond, we're going to remove these lines and by removing these lines you can prevent contours from being drawn through the pond area. This exercise continues from the swapping 10 edges exercise. Go ahead and open up your surface-4b drawing which is located in your tutorials folder. In this drawing the surface is displayed as 10 lines that are overlaid on an externally referenced land-based image. Zoom in to the rounded pond area on the upper left of the surface. In the tool space on the prospector tab, go ahead and expand the surface. Now right-click on the edits collection. Select Delete Line. Now on the command line, you're now prompted to select an edge to remove. Click these edges that cross the surface of the pond. and then press enter. The edge is removed and an interior boundary is created following the adjacent tin lines. The edits are added as delete operations to the edits list view in the prospector. The description column in the list view provides the coordinates of the vertices for the edge that was deleted. So that's how you delete tin lines in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.